Hey DIY Squad, it's me Emma from Emma's Exciting Life and today I'm going to be making a chalkboard banner from Annie's Creative Girls Club. If you have not heard of the Creative Girls Club, it is this site online where you can go online and get little projects sent to your house every month. You get two each month and they're super fun. They require painting, sewing, things a lot of girls I've talked about this a lot before. I really love the Creative Girls Club. If you guys would like to buy that set, buy this, or have your parents subscribe you to the sub monthly subscriptions, I'll link it in the description below. So the first thing this set comes with is chalkboard hearts. Big chalkboard hearts, which I really love. The banner to paint. <coughs> the stencils of circles and stripes, some white paper to let it dry on, the instructions, paint, a sponge, string, and some chalk. Now let's get started. So now we've opened up the kit and the instructions. The first step is to burlap the little banner parts right here. So this part is super fun because this is the part where you put your paint on your piece of paper, which comes with a set, which is really convenient. So you put your piece of paper down like so. You can choose which one you like. And then take your paint. Here's the blue paint. It was really smooth and nice and colorful. So now I'm going to be putting the paint from here onto my burlap piece right here with the little sponge that came with the set. So here's my sponge, and now I'm going to be dabbing it on as so. And it doesn't matter if you guys get a little bit outside the lines because luckily the stencils keep it in place. Sets. They're super fun and I do them each month and I really enjoy the different themes that they give for each month that you, that you get them. And what's great about these sets is that they come in the mail so I don't have to go out and buy any art sets. If I want to get art, it would come to my door each month. So here's my finished burlap, the first one, which the, with the beautiful polka dots, which I really enjoy. Now I'm going to be doing my other one with stripes in blue and green. So I'm going to be opening up my green paint. and placing it on this side of the paper so that the blue and the green don't get mixed up together. And now I'm gonna take my other burlap sack. So the first thing I'm gonna do is dab it in green, like I did before with my polka dot one. I mean, dab it in blue. So as you guys can see, I'm just doing a blue and green pattern. When I finish this, I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. So here's the finished product of the first stripe one and the polka dot one. I'm gonna make one more polka dots and then I'm gonna do the next step. Okay, so here are my finished products. Here's the first blue one, polka dots. Here's the second one in green, polka dots. And here's the third one with the blue and green stripes. Comment down below which one's your favorite. All right, so the next step is, so now it's time to assemble the project. So the first step you're gonna do is take your string and put some tape at the end so that they don't fray.
but make sure it's really thin so then when you put it around it won't break the next thing you're going to do is take your cardboard hearts they already have pre-put holes so you just have to put the string around the hole this string through the hole like I have done here and then you're going to put it again but through the back so then the front it doesn't show like this so the last step is to take your burlap pieces, place them where you'd like, take a stapler, and fold, fold the pieces down so, and top the string. Make sure they're really tucked in so that they stay in place. So now I've got them in like so. I'm going to be doing the same to the other two. So here's the finished product going down the string. It comes with a whole lot of string, so I can't wait to hang this up somewhere. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and bye!